The next thing that we want to look at are morphologies and intervals. And when we talk about these, the main things we want to look for are bundle branch blocks and AV blocks. So let's start with bundle branch blocks. A normal QRS complex is less than 120 milliseconds. Whenever the QRS complex is, is bigger than that, you have a bundle branch block. And those can be broken down to left and right bundle branch blocks. So first, let's talk about left bundle branch block. There are a ton of criteria for what makes um, a bundle branch block a left bundle branch block. But I want you guys to learn just specifically one criteria that will help you almost determine whether this is a left or right 95% of the time. And that's looking specifically at V1. So if V1 has a predominantly negative deflection in the QRS complex, it's likely a left bundle branch block. You do have to have a widened QRS. So if you have a widened QRS, a negative deflection, it's going to be a left bundle. Do not look at 1, do not look at V6, because if you start thinking about these, you will get confused because you can see those have different morphologies. However, if you focus just on V1 and you see that it's a negative deflection and it's a wide QRS, it will be a left bundle branch block. Same is true for right bundle branch blocks. They have a ton of criteria, but if you just focus on V1, 95% of the time, you will be right. So in V1, if you have a majority positive deflection in the QRS complex and a wide QRS greater than 120 milliseconds, you'll have a right bundle branch block. Again, do not look at 1, do not look at V6, do not try to find these other criteria because I'll just uh, mix you up. So here, right bundle branch block, majority of it is positive, you know that it's a right bundle. This is also the one that has the RSR prime or the bunny ears. So if you see this, you will um, likely know that it's a right bundle branch block. But again, these bunny ears are always positive. So if you just remember V1 is being positive, that being a right bundle, and um, V1, if it's negative, being a left bundle, you won't get this wrong. So those are the quick and easy ways to learn bundle branch blocks. Next, let's talk about AV blocks.